Hi, how are ya? What's up guys, it's been a few weeks now and I'm back again. I've just been too busy doing other stuff, but I wanted to get this video out sooner, like when it came out, but that didn't happen. So today, it's a few weeks old, but we're going to react to Jeffree Star going to Dollar General because we worked there for like two years and I just want to tell you guys some of the tea that goes down at Dollar General. So let's jump right into it. So I worked at three different Dollar Generals for months at a time and technically I worked at four but I only worked one night at the fourth one. So the first location I worked at is actually behind the other building that's in front of it because that is a repair place and it was on a main road so it was really busy but the parking lot was so small and there was so many potholes pretty sure there were a lot of drug deals and there were needles found in the bathroom from people shooting up so lots of crackheads on the main road. The second location was so much better because there was not any really uh, people that were tweaking out or anything, you know. We saw one or two and I saw them from the other store so I already knew what they were up to. Like the Pop-Tart Thief. So I transferred from the first store to the second store. So the second store became my home store. And while I was working at my home store, I started working at this third store because I needed to be making more money and working more hours so I could save money to get to where I am now, to California. So you guys know that I made it. It was by a railroad, so that was pretty cool. Every time that I worked there, I got to see the train. This is some serious stuff out here, dudes. All of these stores were laid out a little different inside, but it's all the same formula, so I knew what I was doing. Any store I went to, there's something I must confess. I have never been to a Dollar General before. Can you believe that? You're not really missing out on much, Jeffrey. Listen, I'm from Huntington Beach, California. We've had Dollar Trees our whole entire lives, but we've never been to a Dollar General. The Dollar Tree, Family Dollar, Dollar General, they're basically like the same thing, and it all sucks pretty much to work at all these places. Unless you have good management and people like to work, you're not going to have a good time working for any dollar store. We are going to go on a little adventure today. And what I mean by that is, baby, I found out the real tea. Dollar General has their own makeup line. I really didn't know much about it. And earlier I was Snapchatting and I thought it was only a Midwestern thing. Oh no, they're all over Northern California, even as far as up in Oregon as well. And I'm like, how have I never been to one? So. I hopped online, y'all, and there are so many. In Michigan, there's like a thousand locations. And the real tea is, you guys, they have their own beauty line. It's called Believe. And it launched in March, and it hasn't really had a lot of momentum until recently. I guess YouTubers and people like me have started to review it, and I'm like, what the hell? Everything is literally $5 or less. How? What? Why? Okay, are they coming for Elf? What is going on here? So the Belief Beauty has been around for a few months because I was still working at Dollar General when they were putting out the Believe makeup products. So it's been out since like probably early summer or late spring. So yeah, they've been uh, pretty quiet I guess, but now they're popping. And we have everyone is trying to dive into beauty. So we uh, looked up one and Zach and Nate found one uh, right around the corner from their old house that they actually used to shop at. It has one star. <laughs> I don't know why, but we're going to find out. If that store is rated only one star, then the service must be pretty, pretty bad. Because the ones I worked at, I think they were at least three or four stars. So it must have been the worst of the worst there. Here, she has the mm -hmm. most gorgeous eyes. So you've been to Dollar General a million times. Oh yeah, definitely. Yes. So what what is your experience? What is your what, um, first memory of, of Dollar <laughs> I mean, it's not- Like it's Disneyland. I mean, there's no one helping anyone. It's just messy usually in there. Pacific store he's talking about, I would imagine that nobody really helps anybody. At the stores I worked at, I helped people the best that I could and did the most of what I could for them. Castiel, hi. Like people throw shit wherever, you know, if they don't like want it, it usually stays almost 
in an impermanent like location. They always just kind of float around. The okay. cashiers are. Yeah, stuff that's usually not in the right space, it will usually stay there like forever. No one else is going to touch it. So if you want something done, no one else will do it. You have to do it by yourself. When I was just a cashier, you only work like four hour shift. If you're a cashier or a manager, they want you to do way too much with the time you have and you are not able to get everything done so you know it's not really fun working at a dollar store and so i tried to make it fun by playing with a slinky uh while i was on break well i kind of got it there you go yay what do you think zach well this actual specific location when I was a kid, after uh -huh. they took over DNW, which yeah. is kind of upsetting, but okay. <laughs> sad, 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 I actually had a woman and her man run out with a bunch of stuff under their coat. Maybe we'll try that today. I get arrested. <laughs> Part two. I actually caught a couple doing pretty much the same thing. The lady, she would always come into the store. She's been stealing there for months, and so has her BF. Their names were Bud and Ashley, by the way. Um, so... Ashley would stuff her big sweatshirt and big sweatpants, even when it was hot, with a bunch of frozen foods. And then he tried to walk out with some new shoes with the tag still on them. And he was making up these lies about how the manager said that it was okay. And so I caught him and I caught her and she was in line and somehow... They started calling me racist because of the guy's tattoos, which I said nothing about, and they were both white, just like me, so it didn't make any sense. But anyways, she got her head bobbing, and she threw her milk down all over the floor, got on customers everywhere, got all over the door, and so, yeah, had to call the police, was pretty shook up about it, and my manager drove 45 minutes to make sure that we were okay, me and the new girl it was her third day so that was pretty crazy you never know what's going to happen or what you're going to find at a dollar general store because it could be anything That's okay insane. so i'm reading this you guys dollar general has grown to be one of the most profitable stores in rural united states with revenue reaching 21 billion only two years ago that is insane i believe they make 21 million altogether. i like to call dollar generals a mini walmart because there's so many different things that you could possibly want and you just might find it there. Those are the kind of people when you just have one cashier they they hold up the whole line because they got 200, 100 or 300 dollars worth of stuff that they're going to buy. But that's the Dollar General way. Yeah, okay, the Jeffrey uh, Star Dollar Store opening soon. And I found the location right here. Is this it, Zach? 36th mm -hmm. Street? Yep. 36th Street, yeah. Oh my god. The first comment, male cashier can't do simple math. Well, I'll be paying with a card then. That's good to know. See, this is yeah. helpful! Most of the cashiers, they can do math, but some, you know, some people have struggled with math, like me. So we need a little assistance. We need a, to do a little calculation. And if they can't be patient enough to wait a minute or two to figure it out, then they should not be shopping at the dollar store. If my total bill is $13.73 and I give you $2.73, how much? would you put on my card? Oh my god, they tried to pay some cash, some card, and the person got confused. Don't argue to your customer if you don't know simple math. Okay, she's angry! Dollar General does this thing, it's like switched around. Instead of them giving you the cash first, you do the card first, so then that's why you have to do the math. And so it's just a little simple calculation. All you have to do is see what the total is, how much they want to pay on the card, then you minus that, and then whatever's left is in cash. All right, Marissa says, I will not be returning back to this business for my own personal shopping needs. I came to this location because I wanted to buy an item for my client. What do you do, though? Your client? She's in Philly, she's from your town, honey. I asked the store tenant where they kept the eyeglasses cleanser, and she pointed to a general direction and said, buy the glasses. <laughs> 
<laughs> it would have been more helpful if she would have maybe, you know, told me where they were. Right. Um, okay, she walked over with a bad attitude. Okay, customer service is the most important skill in retail and working with the public. Very unimpressed here. Yeah, I don't think they have the best customer service. The stores that I worked at, we either took the customer right to where they needed to look for whatever item they needed, or we helped them look for their items that they were trying to find. Uh, but if we already knew from memory where something was, what aisle it was, we say, oh, it's in aisle, blah, 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 on the right or the left. Oh my gosh, this is terrifying. If I were to tell you before this video, like, hey, Dollar General has makeup, what would be your first thought? No. Zach is not even chancing it right here. Some of the actual Dollar General products are actually as good or better than the original. Okay, well, I think it's time to get into the car, drive to this location, and let's see what the hell happens. And then, of course, after that, we'll be coming back to the house and trying it all on and seeing uh, if my skin hates me or not. Oh my god, okay, we just exited. Why do I get so giddy when we're going to like McDonald's and like the cheapest stores? <laughs> Okay, believe beauty. Let's please don't let me down, girl. So this is gonna be really interesting, and I love seeing them drive their old car, which doesn't have a license plate or any registration. So we'll be selling that as soon as this video is over. At least they're not gonna destroy the car like how Elton did with Colby's car. Oh, look at the yellow sign. Oh, it looks magical. It's like Disneyland. It just reels you in. There's only a few people here. Thank God, because we're about to buy out the whole store, Miss Thing. All right, Dollar General. We've arrived. This used to be my great grandmother's house right there. What? Yeah, that white one. Zach, are you serious? Nate, for I real? Just, I like, grew up going in that house. A little fat granny. A little fat granny. That's what we called her. That's what? We called her. what? Yeah. It's my, okay. my grandpa's house. We're going to go visit that house later. Whenever I go back to my hometown, I can't wait to show you guys where all I've hung out and one of my favorite places. I mean, there are very few, but still, can't wait to show you guys that. Whoa. So this is the Dollar General. Yes. Wow. I'm already triggered by the sounds of the beeps. So one of the big reasons I needed to get out of that first store was because I had a stalker and he would not leave me alone. He kept coming to the store. Hello. Oh, wild kiss. What was it called? Oh, they got wet and wild. I wonder if they have the new James Charles palette. Definitely not, but they got plenty of JoJo Siwa stuff. Um, okay, they have LA Color. <laughs> they have... <gasps> It's right here, you guys. Oh my god, here it is. Believe. Okay, whoa, it's kind of like, okay, they have foundation color. It's a little bare bones. Like people, oh, the Golden Disco eyeshadow palette is sold out? Oh, I don't even know what there is here. There's so many different mascaras. I'm just gonna grab them all, okay? Everything is literally $4.50. What? Oh, look at someone put a wet and wild here. You were right, Nate. Yeah, I told you. How people just throw things up there? Because I was like, oh my god, it's pink. No, that's not them. Long lasting lip liners. There's six shades. Glittery pots, texture that dries to a powdery finish. Oh my god, grab them all. Hi. <gasps> oh. Whoa. Okay, sorry. Eyeshadow palettes. There's lip shine glosses, only three colors. Got it. Liquid lipstick. That'd be better than Jeffree Star Cosmetics. I heard there's a rumor there might be. I'm just kidding. <laughs> oh my god, I'm just getting all the shades. <gasps> Whoa, what is this one? Oh my god, it's clear, how cute. Okay, oh my god, you guys look. Okay, so there's Dollar General security tags. You are not stealing from this damn store. The sad thing is, people just rip those off anyways and go on their merry way. They have false lashes, you guys? Oh my god, we have to get them. Oh my god, medium to buildable coverage. So a lot of the Star family told me, Jeffrey, the foundation here is actually pretty bomb. And I'm like, you guys, come on. <gasps> it feels heavy. It's glass for $5? I'm just gonna grab all my shades. Shade range here, uh, I mean, for a brand that just started, I'm not that mad at it, but it could be a lot better. Oh my God, that's way too orange for me. Hi. Okay, a lot of people said the concealer's good here, you guys, we have to try it. But there's barely any shades. This could work for me. It's almost there. Mm. Okay, what is this on the floor, by the way? Uh, what is that? It's probably glue. That's probably some kind of glue, like uh, Nate said. In all the Dollar Generals I worked at, we had this same kind of flooring, and it was so dirty and disgusting, and nothing would come up when you try to put bleach on it, mop it up, it wouldn't come off, the stain would just stay there forever. Where are you going? Hi, Jack, speed up, oh! Oh, 
Oh, there's a translucent. Here it is. Got it. Oh my god. Okay. Oh, there's a primer. We're getting all of them. Oh, I got the last two of these. Bitch. Oh my god. Oh, look. What is this? Makeup wipes. Believe oh my wipes. god. How do they have everything? Look at all these brushes. I'm panicking. I feel like we just did like the five second makeup challenge like right? of buying. I'm like sweating. It's a lot of stuff. Okay, well, this is quicker and easier than I thought, you guys. Like, what? Okay, so now that I've grabbed all the makeup, we're gonna go home and try it, but I've never been to a Dollar General, so let me uh, run down the aisles and see what else they have. Just about anything that you might need. Oh, that's cute. By the way, why is everything in here yellow? Definitely you're on brand. Okay, anyone else at home? We are obsessed with Uno. We love all different editions of it. Yeah. All right, so typical with any store, there's one cashier. <laughs> Like I told you guys through text a few minutes ago, it is not fun being a cashier and that's only a few things that I've told you about it. I'll probably make a whole nother video about that. Yes. I'm a makeup person, but hey, some people have a real gift for that, huh? Yes, they do. It's just if they just got their floors clean, so it's not the mess that it usually is. I'm going to show you guys a video of before when we got our floors cleaned. This is at the second store, which didn't look that bad, but you know, after the dirt, it keeps coming back after so long and just sits there. The floors aren't gonna be white anymore. We had to move everything outside that we could or we had to move it all back into the storage room, which is why there's so much space, but usually it's really cluttered. I love that. So far. We're at 214. Oh. That's what I said, this adds up. Cute. <laughs> No cash back. Don't even get me started on giving people cash back. That process is so stressful. Oh, it's okay. <laughs> Thank you. Get us looking solid. Ooh, can we? <laughs> I pretty much always had to double bag everything because those bags break so easily, I don't trust them. I'm starving. Anyone else? Yeah, I'm yeah. definitely oh, yeah. a little famished. <laughs> I'm like craving like a cheeseburger. Five I don't know. guys is over Ooh, there. okay. <laughs> Um, I put a robe on. We're getting comfortable. And now it's time to dive into a full face of Dollar General. I got a lot of stuff. I couldn't believe the receipt. By the way, the uh, cash register was broken. Um, she said, I'm so sorry, you won't be able to see uh, any of the item names. That happened a lot to me too in the beginning and then I figured out a way to finesse the printer so it does not work like that. All you gotta do is rub where the ink comes off and then rub this little metal plate and then you're good to go. So everything is basically four or five dollars. Four seventy-five, five dollars, five dollars. I mean, this is crazy. So you guys get the gist. Everything is about the same price. All right, we spent almost three hundred dollars there. Um, it was an adventure. Having the cashier tell me that stores usually gross was hilarious, and um, I'm not shocked. Me either. So let's see what's in here. Oh my. God. Now everything that has never been swatched or used before obviously has this cr uh, really nice sticker. It says Dollar General. It is a security tag, so I think if you try to steal it, beeps. <laughs> I don't know. So when I took off the security stickers, it did leave this weird film here for $5. I'm not mad at it. It is what it is. We all know you can get that off with Goo Gone or rubbing alcohol. Yeah, those are electronic stickers, so when you go out of the store, if you have one on and they haven't swiped it over the, the little thing to deactivate it then you're gonna beep on the way out for the rest of this video i put a little montage together i guess of what jeffrey thought of the makeup so i hope you enjoy my little edits of jeffrey and the makeup now there's three primers what the hell it feels a little tacky but nothing crazy um i definitely see a little bit of shininess to my skin now the shade range we know, we all know the shade range was not that impressive, Miss Thing. They all kind of look the same, y'all. Packaging for $5? Like, it's heavy. It feels good. Okay, so I grabbed my Morphe Beauty Sponge. Ooh, this looks thick. I love it. Go in and see if it can cover up my dark circles and anxiety. This looks lighter in the bottle. This is a weird shade. Luminous and skin-like and pretty for five dollars, bitch. I'm, I'm a little shook. It's not translucent like it just made my eyes even darker I'm just tripping out because this isn't a bad formula It just created a weird cast and I'm just a little like what the hell a little bit and see how much pigment is in here Oh my god fall out the house this thing Ooh. Let's see how the formula works, and then we'll really judge her. I'm just gonna go into my forehead and hairline. 
Hi. I think Christian does it look mighty or, or nice? It actually looks pretty good. Right? I'm like, huh, yeah. I'm not mad at it at all. I'm a little, sh I'm like shook. All right, actually, now that I'm sculpting the full face, like this product smells good, not gonna lie, the formula is really good. Okay, Miss Wink, this was actually a really pretty color. Formula is cute. There is a highlight tour. Hey, I'm not mad at it at all, actually. Huh, pretty, whoa. Dollar General highlighter, you better slow it down. Ooh, this could be a pretty highlighter color for the cheeks too. Oh, that worked really easy. Whoa, this might be one of the best drugstore eyeliners I've actually ever tried in my life. Can't believe I'm saying that. Come on, Dollar General. It went on so, like, easy. I'm a little shook. I'm like, oh, okay, great. And I, oh. Okay, first impressions, it's subtle. It isn't the most volumizing. I think it's definitely cute. If you're just, like, on the go and want a quick mascara look, this could definitely work for you. But I'm, like, working the product in here, and I'm kind of bored. I'll tell you that. Okay, it definitely gets the job done. Not my favorite, but it's all right. Whoa, that's a geyser. Hmm, smells very skincare and fresh. <sighs> smells a little alcoholy, like. Dark's <coughs> a really pretty lip color. <sighs> okay, let me let my hair down and give you guys my final thoughts. I'm gonna say this: this some of these products maybe some of the best drugstore ones I've ever tried. I was not that impressed. For the price point, I would definitely grab these. Primer, I don't know if it actually did anything. I think the primer was just kind of irrelevant. A shadow palette. Girl, it's not it. It's cute though. Believe Beauty Foundation. The Believe Beauty Eyeliner. The Believe Beauty Blush. And the Believe Beauty Contour Blush Kit. These products are all Jeffree Star approved. Now everything else, it did not mean that it was horrible, it just wasn't my favorite, or it was just kind of like, eh, and you guys really just don't really need it. So if you are near a Dollar General, go try it out. I would love to hear your guys' thoughts. Alright you guys, I will see you on the next one. Mwah. <laughs> Bye guys.